day we're on the Oregon trip. What's going on guys? Nick here with England Attics Pacific Northwest. Welcome back. Today is uh, Monday, God, it's September 30th already, guys. Getting ready to get into October time. It's crazy. Um, so I'm out here. I'm going to be fishing the Sandy River for a little bit today. I don't have a whole lot of time, but I do have a little bit of time to kill. There's two spots I want to hit. One of them is going to be uh, you know, lower river down here above say Lewis and Clark around the Glen Auto area. Um, I was thinking about hitting Dabney, but <clears throat> with where I'd seen a lot of activity the other day, I kind of want to focus down a little bit lower, but we did get a bunch of rain yesterday. A lot of you guys that came out here uh, were leaving comments and stuff on the Facebook page saying that the river had pretty much turned to just chocolate. So update for you guys real quick. Uh, today is the water's looking a lot better already. It's already on, uh, I would say in the recovery stage and I'm fishing with, uh, some lures that I had made last night, which are going to have a bunch more fluorescent kind of colors to them, uh, because I know we're going to have a lot more of that sediment and stuff in the water. So we're not going to get as much of that reflectiveness as we typically would on a sunny day, like it's supposed to be today. So, uh, I'm going to go hit these two holes and hopefully we can get on some fish today. And then I'm going to go back home and make some lures because you guys are ordering them like crazy. So thanks for that, you guys. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Let's see if we can't go get on some fish. Usually you guys, when I'm out here throwing spinners like this, kind of like how I brought up in the uh, Columbia River one, I'm throwing up river, down river, retrieving fast, retrieving slow, just trying to mix it up all the time, do different things, make sure that I'm hitting all these different sections of the river. And if I'm just blasting it out in front of me as hard as I can every time, there's a lot of river that you're not covering right there in front of you, which could have a fish just hanging out you can kind of tell right here off the bank, the water's really starting to clear up. But uh, once you start hitting that deeper stuff, you can definitely tell it's got a lot more sediment flowing through it right now. So visibility is gonna be a bit lower. So I usually say use brighter colors, slow down your presentation, you even actually get away with using something a little bit bigger than maybe you normally would, I think. Hatchery fish? That's a hatchery fish, guys. Wow, I gotta tell you, this fish, this fish, if I can keep it on, uh, was about not even five feet off the bank here. Wow. All right. 
so I just got here and I throw a cast out not even maybe about five seven feet in front of me I thought I kind of caught a rock so I just kind of gave it a little tug not like a good hook set and you see the fish roll sideways and my hook comes flying out so I'm like what the heck so throw a few more casts and I'm like you know what I'm gonna put it right back in front of me and drag it off the bottom because it's just got a single hook on there and got that same feel again tug back there's a bright chrome side and hatchery fish there you go <laughs> with considering how many natives have been caught out here yeah. recently to walk right up and find a hatchery fish down here it's kind of nice that's a good looking fish too yeah Yeah, these are some that I make up. In fact, this is a brand new one that I just made last night for out here because I've been... You got a YouTube channel? I do. I've, do. I've seen it. I watched oh, it. Do? Up. Yeah. Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, I just did that one up last night. I'm going to get some of these on the website here pretty yeah. soon. Thing out of the way. <laughs> oh, Nick, by the way. Nick Dean, nice to Dean, meet you. Dean, nice to meet you. You're one of the chosen few. <laughs> that stretch i work this stretch from here uh-huh up to where it chokes yeah and back down that's a pretty good stretch I, the whole stretch out. is too and i the reason i like this lower section is because yeah. it gets a lot less pressure yeah we're gonna have these fish that are gonna push up and i know the channel goes to the far side right going yeah, and you can, they're all up oh you see channel. them rolling all day long yeah uh, just having the right what the right thing on yeah uh, yeah, and that one was just sitting off this bank, so it's kind of crazy yeah. that here you've got the deep channel over here and it's sitting in shallow water right off the bank. Yeah. Righty. She is, guys. That is a beautiful fish. Hooked on. Another angling attic fishing co lure. So you heard me telling Dean, I just made this one up for uh, today out here for these recovering conditions and as you can see within scoot back a little bit within five minutes you guys had this one on it's actually the second time i think it went and tried to hit that lure because like i was telling dean uh, like my second cast out hit something and uh, i could see the fish roll onto its side so i could see that bright chrome and then my lure popped out of its mouth so after a few more casts out into the deeper water decided to uh, bring it back over the bank and kind of almost just have it bouncing off the bottom a little bit but uh, yeah it took it right there about five feet out guys what's going on stud it's quiet down there is it really yes uh we actually might just kick it some time down there uh-huh so just up off the rock no just even just right here Oh, like no probably 50 feet past that log that's in the water <laughs> dude i could have damn near touched the fish man it was yeah like that far out <laughs> all right i'll be i'll be back down all right man yeah i'm gonna go down there for a few what's up guys oh, it's going oh yeah yeah they're out there what's that oh kirby shit nice to meet you man just uh bought a couple of your yeah, I saw that. They should be ready here today, hopefully, because uh, I was waiting on new blades to show up. Yeah. Like so many, there's been a lot of fish caught up here, but yeah. a lot of them have been natives too, so. Yeah. Well, man, thanks for your, uh, your YouTube videos. Like, I've only been doing this for a year, and I've learned so much, so I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, man. I always appreciate the support, like Absolutely. I said. But uh, I'm going to run up through a few casts, but okay. I'll get a hold of you here shortly, and we'll get those yeah. lures to you. So hopefully they'll be just as successful. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'll be in touch. Yep, caught that 
friggin' rock over there. Ha. And that's all she wrote. Threw it onto the bank, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day. If you guys look behind me, most of you guys know this has uh, been a pretty popular spot over the last few days, and it sounds like today was dead, so hence why there's nobody but one angler back there behind me right now. So I feel pretty lucky to get into that one fish. Like I said I'd love to stick around and do uh, some time and try and get another one, but I do have a ton of lures to get done for you guys today and that fish needs to go get on some ice and I got to go smoke the other day's fish. So tight lines you guys and I uh, hope to see you guys out on the water man. Best of luck to you guys.